Hello everyone, this is Inspired2016, we would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life including your past, your presence and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Aries, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week, commencing the 22nd until the 28th of August 2016. The first card for you is representing, the past position of your love life. Your card is, the King of Pentacles. This card represents abundance, security, ambition, power, stability discipline, trustworthiness and control. There might be a significant earth sign male figure in your life who embodies the character of King of Pentacles. He is a fatherly figure who likes to take care of others through providing advice, guidance and wisdom, as well as more material aspects such as financial support and wealth. He is a true provider and generates a lot of his self-worth from what he has accumulated and what he can share with others. The King of Pentacles is a lot like King Midas. Everything he touches turns to gold. He is a shining example of financial stability, with wealth and experience coming easily to him and to share with everyone around him. This is a man who has reached the pinnacle of his financial power and influence and is able to rest assured of his continued prosperity. He is no longer required to struggle to achieve what he desires, like the page and the knight, and is able to accomplish anything he wants because he has already proven himself. Thus, 
the King of Pentacles often indicates the final fulfillment of a creative task, business venture, or investment. Through diligence, responsibility and attention to detail you have achieved great things and can finally say that you have completed your task or attained your goal. You can now enjoy all that you have accomplished and the successes you have created. You have created a richness of life, not just financially but also spiritually, which will set you up very well for the future. Whenever you need the skills to manage your day-to-day -day affairs competently and efficiently, you can call upon the King of Pentacles. Work hard, methodically and conscientiously. Give generously of your time and resources, because by giving you often receive more, and making more money is something that all kings of pentacles love to do. This king is business oriented and highly enterprising. He becomes thoroughly engaged in any activity that provides the ability to generate more wealth or more business. He is able to make any venture successful and can find a business opportunity almost anywhere. He can take an idea and make it work financially. He is a natural born manager, as opposed to a leader, which is more representative in the King of Wands, and business person. This card also indicates that a methodical, planned and well thought out approach will lead you to success. Many consider the King of Pentacles to be dull and unimaginative but this is a likely consequence of his preference to do things in the most tried and tested way. You have experimented in the past with what works best and have landed on your own methods and practices that you know will continue to work for you in the future. So, you continue down this path rather than trying new ways of doing things. You know that you have reached the height of achievement and you do not need to take any more risks. This card also calls on you to be pragmatic and to stay informed on practical matters. You need to get down to the basics and use your problem solving ability to get to a solution. You also need to be able to leverage your various skills and resources in order to create success. This king can also play the political game well interacting comfortably with everyone, no matter what his or her status. The King of Pentacles reminds you to remember that appreciating the sensual, luxurious side to life often makes life more pleasurable. As such, this King is about quality over quantity, and learning to enjoy a full and joyful life. He is not afraid to spend money when appropriate so that he can generate much joy and benefit from life. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the Ace of Swords. This card represents a period of great insight and mental clarity. It signifies a breakthrough or an aha moment where suddenly conscious understanding and mental reasoning reach their peak, and achievement of goals suddenly becomes a lot easier. You have a new understanding of some issue that has been of concern, or, in a broader sense, a new worldview. This is a perfect time to clear away the fog that has kept you from seeing the inner truth, so that you can now cut to the heart of the matter. This is also a good time to act, and if you set your mind to accomplishing your goals, you can achieve anything you desire. This card also highlights a new idea inspiration, original thinking and creative vision. It represents a point at which you have a new way of thinking and the energy to go with it. You are excited to pursue new opportunities that draw upon your creative and mental abilities. The Ace of Swords also encourages you to seek out the truth of the matter and to find justice. You may be championing a cause or standing up for your rights or the rights of others. Thus sometimes, the Ace of Swords can suggest that you are prepared for battle. You have great clarity on a situation and can now argue your case with the view to come out victorious. You may have a new idea for which you are ready to fight, or you may be all fired up on an issue that you are particularly passionate about, such as human rights, the environment or your personal beliefs. Therefore, 
This card invites you to use mental force and to use your intellect and critical reasoning. If faced with a challenging situation, you need to be ready for battle and be prepared to find the strength to overcome these challenges. The third card for you is representing the future of your love life. Your card is the Ten of Wands. The Tens in Tarot represent the completion of a cycle, and thus with the Ten of Wands, you have reached the end of a cycle after a period of struggle. You are finally reaping your rewards after investing a lot of hard work and effort. You have fulfilled a creative venture, realized a dream or accomplished a major goal, and now must deal with the consequences of that fulfillment. However, the Ten of Wands suggests that even with the achievement of your goal, there comes with it great responsibilities and commitments. While you have reached a point of completion, you are becoming starkly aware that you must now carry on with the responsibilities you have laid out for yourself, in order to ensure ongoing success. The trouble is, however, that these responsibilities may become too much to bear and you are struggling to let go. It is a bit like the business owner who creates a flourishing business but who is unprepared to delegate some of his, her responsibilities to the staff and ends up working 70-80 hours a week. The inspiration and creativity that was associated with the initial goal or vision rapidly disappears, and everything becomes hard work all too quickly. Thus, it is incredibly important to let go of or delegate some of your responsibilities in order to free you up to still enjoy life. This card also serves as a reminder of how much we take on in our lives and all the extra burdens and responsibilities we weigh ourselves down with. We take on so much, trying to do all the things that need to be done. Thus, this card asks you to stop and examine your current lifestyle or work. Assess which activities or tasks are really urgent or really important particularly in relation to your broader goals. You may need to employ various time management or prioritization methods in order to determine where best to spend your time and which tasks you can drop. Your goal needs to be greater efficiency, whilst also freeing yourself up for rest and relaxation when you need it. This card can also mean that you are being oppressed by outside sources. You are overworked, overtired and overstimulated. You have more on your plate than you can possibly handle and you have taken on too much at this point in time. In an effort to get to the finish line, you have found yourself overwhelmed with the extra responsibility and activity. You need to stop working so hard. If you cannot stop, then conserve your energy and pace yourself. When you are overcommitted everything becomes a strain. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is The Dreamer. The first step in making any dream come true is to believe. Happiness and self-confidence begin with an act of faith. You were given your dreams for a reason. Believe in yourself. What's holding you back? Release your fears and make a decision to follow your heart's desires. You drew this card because you're guided to fulfill your life purpose. The fairies ask you to do so joyfully and playfully. Begin your personal transformation by telling supportive people of your intentions. When we verbally express our plans, we become more fully committed to moving forward. The voicing of our hopes helps us have the courage of our convictions and bring about real change. Our female dreamer stands at the base of the mountain, atop of which sits the Glastonbury Tor, a sacred tower dedicated to mighty Archangel Michael. This is symbolic of beginning your journey, with the long climb upward being guided and protected by God and Archangel Michael. Additional meanings of this card time for a fresh start, being open to new ideas, beginning a new adventure, taking a risk, no limits, embracing your true purpose, 
I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.